Yo, what up, Rebels? My name is Moses Franco. I'm a senior here at Savannah High School. Um, can y'all please put your right hand over your heart? Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And you all may be seated. So happy uh, Wednesday, Savannah. We are uh, here uh, celebrating this warm weather and I just wanted to remind you of a few things. Uh, we wanted to connect our uh, message today to res being respectful, our pride, uh, focus on being respectful and you know the the message about being respectful includes our dress code reminder about you know when it's warm we got to keep our mid midriff um, and not exposed we got to make sure we're checking our the length of our uh, of our skirts you know gentlemen the hats they need to be savannah rebel hats so make sure we're doing that i know we've taken a few hats and we don't want to take any more hats guys so let's be mindful of making sure that the the hats are of rebel uh, you know they also t talk about our, our spirit and our pride in our school this amazing world-class uh, education that savannah high school offers us and I also want to talk about tardies so how important it is to be here on time you know teachers do an amazing job and a great job of holding us to, to, to start on time because it is important to be there on time and the minute we show up tardy we're losing we're losing instruction therefore in impacting our our grades and we don't want to we want to do that so it is critical that you are here and you're being respectful and you're being here on time uh, for many reasons to be respectful and to uh, ensure the learning is taking place for yourself all right thank you again for listening and uh, again this is an amazing school very proud to be your principal bowtie tuesday but uh wednesday you're going to see this uh, anyhow we're excited that, that to be here in front of you at savannah have a great day this is sports center What a start to SAF week here at Savannah. Yesterday in the first round of SAF, water polo action in our pool. Sophomore Damari Kawasaki scored from about 5 meters out just 12 seconds into the second set of death overtime period to give the Rebels a thrilling 10-9 victory. Senior Johnny Puntract won the sprint for Savannah at the beginning of the period to set up the goal. Savannah had a balanced attack with seven girls scoring. Puntrak, Kawasaki, and sophomore Savannah Rangel each had two goals, while Ayana David, Macy Gabon, Kylie Rivera, and Tarsus Ledesma had one each. Ingrid Figueroa was solid in the goals with 15 saves. The girls moved to play number three seed, San Dimas, on Thursday in the second round. Last night's game was really great. We won 10 to 9, and I scored the last shot, and I was like, woo, let's go. And <laughs> um, it was really fantastic, and I'm thankful for, for everyone who came and was cheering for us. Here's what we have left for the rest of this week's CIF action. The boys basketball team is hosting Cathedral High in a first round CIF playoff game tonight at 7. It's a whiteout game. The Rebels are asking fans to support the team by wearing white to tonight's game. Come watch the high flying action of Mark Butler, Abraham Mansoure, and Enrique Quinones as they make a run through the Division 3 AA playoffs. Yeah, tonight we're just going to give everything we got and hopefully we have a lot of fans there tonight and please wear white. The game starts at 7, and we're going to give everything we got. Related Rebels soccer team finished their league season strong, finishing undefeated with 7 wins and 3 ties to claim back-to-back -back Orange League championship. The first two league championships in school history. On Thursday, in addition to second round CIF water polo game, the girls begin their CIF run against Lakeside High here at 3 o'clock. I'm really proud of winning back-to-back -back league champs, the first two in Rebel history for girls soccer, and I'm hoping for a great CIF season, and I hope you all can come by. Good luck to all CIF participants. The Lady Rebels basketball team also won their second consecutive Orange League title this year and look to make a deep run through the CIF bracket. The girls will on Bonita High School on Thursday night with tip-off at 7 o'clock in the Savannah Gym. Come check out the smothering defense and the fast-paced offense and cheer the girls on to victory. One of my biggest accomplishments last year was receiving Orange League MVP, but receiving back-to-back -back titles this year with my team has definitely topped that. Out of all my CIF, out of all my four years here, I have not passed first round CIF. And I think this year we're ready. And we're ready to get it. Let's go. That's it for today. Good luck to all our teams and hope to see all of you out supporting our Rebels. Mm -hmm.